Ocasio-Cortez thought that Black Lives Matter was a foundation she could support. She found out that she was completely wrong. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was outraged when she learned where her money went. Ocasio-Cortez has fully jumped into supporting Black Lives Matter. She used her social media platform to share their materials. George Floyd's violent death was a breaking point, an all-too-familiar reminder that, for black people, law enforcement doesn't protect or save our lives, they often threaten and take them. The petition she tweeted read, We call for a national defunding of police. We demand investment in our communities and the resources to ensure black people not only survive, but thrive. She said defunding the police looks like a suburb. She said that affluent white communities have low crime rates because they don't fund the police. However that's not what the studies have found. Research by Dr. June O'Neill's and Ann Hill for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services showed that a 50% increase in the monthly value of combined AFDC and food stamp benefits led to a 117% increase in the crime rate. Among young black men, the Cato Institute reported, defunding the police won't lower crime rates, and giving out more welfare won't lower crime. Ocasio-Cortez and the Black Lives Matter movement aren't looking to make the changes that will actually help black communities. But the Black Lives Matter Foundation is a completely different matter and its goal is bringing the community and police closer together and was founded by Robert Ray Barnes, a 67-year-old L.A. music producer. I don't have anything to do with the Black Lives Matter global network. I never met them, never spoke to them, I don't know them, I have no relationship with them, Barnes said to BuzzFeed. Our whole thing is having unity with the police department. But many people donated to Barnes Black Lives Matter organization in the last month without realizing that it is completely unallied with the anti-police movement. In fact, it took in $4.35 million in the first week of June, though most of the money was frozen by GoFundMe after BuzzFeed reached out to them. The mainstream Black Lives Matter movement is mad at Barnes organization for starting an organization with the same name in 2015 and said, We intend to call them out in follow-up. They took my name and put this incorporated behind it, Barnes said. They took my name. I own that name. I haven't stolen anything from them. They have stolen from me. They have lied and been able to profit using my name. The Black Lives Matter movement has not yet registered as a non-profit.